everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today, the, it rained a little bit this morning and then at about 2 o'clock it cleared up and it was very nice and warm out, but it was, hum it was humid. Actually in the house it was chilly, where outside it was warm. Um, today I'm going to put a little video in. There's going to be a couple little videos and I'm going to put them in after I tell you what I'm going to put in. <laughs> I'm going to put in a little video of the bluebird. You're going to see the bluebird nest, and it's got five eggs today. It laid another egg. You're going to see a little bit of the mealworms, and you're going to see possibly the chickens, too, because in the morning, when, just before I go out, the rooster gets up on the dog panel and crows a few times. I don't know if I caught it today. I don't know what I caught. I think I caught them at their dish eating, too. So you'll see those two things, So I'm going to, or three things. I'm going to put them in right here. In the bluebird box. And there are five eggs. See how nicely put together theirs is? It's with grasses. There's no twigs in this at all. I had knocked on it earlier, so I knew the birds weren't in there. But you're always supposed to kind of knock before you open, but I already knew they weren't there because I had just done it. I'm still waiting for my beetles to lay their eggs and see what they look like, but this is the beetles. Give you a little tour of the, of the mealworm beetles. Give you a little look at the beetles. They're moving around. Well, let's see what's underneath. Where are you all? They must be all underneath them. There was tons of them, but they must have gone under when I moved at this. Oh, here's a lot of them. Here they are. Look at that. brought them over by the window because the light was causing a shadow and I don't like the shadow. Whoa. It's Dorothy and her babies. Somebody was asking me if I knew how many were. What? I think there's three boys and I think there's four girls. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, baby. This one right there is a boy. Whoa. For sure, I think. He's got no tail. I need to get my boots on. Then I will bring out your food. Okay, down you go. Morning, everybody. Oh, back up, back up. No, 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 Dorothy. Dorothy, where are you going? Uh-uh. Dorothy, come on. Here, chick, 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 come on. Here, chick, 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 come on. Uh-uh, Dorothy, you're going the wrong way. Oh, my stars. Okay, come on, everybody. Let's just go. Here, chick, 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 chick. Chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 chick. There you go. Get your two dishes. Everybody came back in. Okay, everybody's eating. Oh, Silver, don't be chasing her away. Dorothy, you get in there and eat. Your babies are all eating. Whoa, who's flying around? Where are you going, Brownie? Looks like mayhem in here. Okay, Dor okay. Um, whoa, Dorothy. Emma, I have to clean. Don't you peck at me. Did you want out? What'd you want? You 
you got your babies? Babies, you got them all under you right now. Well, that's the videos of those videos. Now, I have a correction to make. In my yesterday's video, I said that Emma had four babies. She's really got five babies. And it's like a mystery to me because she had five eggs one egg I threw on the compost pile because it didn't hatch and she'd gotten off the nest. I had given her only four eggs, so she had five total. So I don't know where that fifth baby came from because I'm pretty sure there were not six eggs under her. But if there was, that's where that sixth, that other baby came from, that fifth baby. Or two of them were in one egg, but there was no oversized egg. They were all... I think there might have been another egg in there or something. I don't know. But she's got five babies and one is totally black. I had comments too that said that none of them look like Emma. The reason none of them look like Emma is Emma didn't lay any of these eggs. These are eggs that were laid by the um, Americana and the, the um, Bantam hens. There might have been a brown egg in there, but I don't know who laid it. And there was, I, what I did is I tried to choose eggs that were a little bit more rounded. And when Emma started sitting, I just grabbed four eggs. So I think there was more green colored eggs in that batch than anything. I went shopping today. I had to go get some chicken food and some chicken scratch. And I went and I had to get my half and half milk, which they did, they only had the small containers. So I did buy a gallon of regular milk because I know the two little containers aren't going to last me very long. Um, I also went to Aldi's looking for spinach. They didn't have any spinach. I could not believe they had no spinach. So I went to Walmart and then I saw that they had spinach they had collard greens, and they had green beans, and they had a lot of stuff. And I'm looking, where in the world is the spinach? People aren't eating spinach, are they? Well, on the very top shelf, there was, I saw spinach, and it said a dollar, I don't know, 39 or something, I can And I'm thinking, whoa, I'm not paying that much for spinach. Then I saw next to it, there was another, um, there was the Walmart brand, which was like, I think, 69 cents, I think. I'm not sure what the price was, but I was thinking to myself, that's better, but it's still pretty high for spinach. So I bought spinach and brought that home. Um, I, the neighbor lady, I have a, um, she usually buys eggs from my daughter, and she went over there to see if there was some eggs. And because my daughter doesn't have chickens anymore, she said, well, do you know my mom? She's got some eggs. Maybe you could go there. So she came over here. And she bought a dozen eggs, and she gave me $3. I said, is that what you pay? And she goes, oh, yeah. So I guess I'm getting $3 a dozen for eggs, <laughs> at least from her. Um, I was watching the news today, and I brought my notebook in. That's why I keep looking down. <laughs> in case you wonder, I don't have, that's all I have in my lap is a notebook and a pen. Um, I was watching the news today, and they were showing Central Park in New York City. And... All these people were sitting on the lawn, but they had a big, huge circle around them. I says, they, they, what they did is they drew circles, and you have to sit within your circle to keep your distancing. Now, this is so sad that um, you have to sit in a circle to keep that social distancing rule in place. Now, there is a lot of people that I was also listening to um, other things I don't know some was on the news some was on videos and some was just I hear that the mental health 
of people is sad. It was on the radio, I believe, too. Yeah, that's what else I had on. Um, that people are struggling with this because they are anxious and they're having bad dreams. And that's, a, that's anxiety. If you're having bad dreams and not being able to sleep and there's uh, they're just worrying about things that they they have no control over truly and it's not healthy there's a lot of and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be um suicidal because of this whole business of the crazies that's in the world i don't even want to say it um i can call it the little green whatever somebody called it, or the blue i don't remember what color they called it but it's it's that little blue or green nasty thing that's out there. Uh, green makes me think of boogers. <laughs> Maybe it's a booger. Um, but they were saying how the, all this stress is not good for the people's health. So, And no matter how they think about it, they're always going to think that the world is sadder than what it is and their life is sadder than what it is. They don't see any positive in it. And that's not good. So, I find that there's a lot to look forward to. So, let's hope that you find that there's a lot to look forward to. I'm looking forward to the day that I get to go on a motorcycle ride to, where is it we're going? Louisville, <laughs> Somewhere. Louisville Kentucky. To Louisville, Kentucky. I am looking forward to that. I missed out on my Florida trip. I missed out on my Indiana trip. And so, now... Louisville is the place where I'm going to be heading and I really play I, we that's with that hotel that we had a hard time with that made three um, reservations and we got it down to where we have one I'd like to use that one that I don't think they'd give well maybe they would give the money back on that mm. if we couldn't go I don't know if all the states are opening up then yes we have to go so uh, we're gonna go we're mm. coming here we come you better watch out. I was going to sing, Here we come to save the day for its mighty mouse. <laughs> is what it came from. That's what that song came is on its way. Remember that cartoon? I don't know. Anyways, I guess I'm done with my list of stuff. I did the Walmart, Aldi's, visiting eggs. Um, oh, our, our state is talking about starting phase one. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Our county. For our county, yeah, for our, for our, our, region. our region, it's a huge region, it's so big, it's ridiculous. And then they think they're, they're saying they were saying that it has to be at least two weeks, I think, between the mm. phases, but they're hoping to push phase two in a little sooner. Which, if they push phase two in, then my daughter can go back to work um, with her beauty shop because right now she can't. And Jane, thank you for the little video. That is so funny. And she thinks it's so funny, too. I I just love... <laughs> I had mentioned that maybe you could shut, cut, cut hair with a vacuum cleaner while they were washing the heads with a mop. <laughs> and blow-drying the hair with a dryer connected to, I think, a broom stick. handle or yeah, a stick or something. Like I don't know. But it was funny. It was really funny. Um that's how we have to do our hair, I guess. So, soon, very soon. So you take care, and I hope you don't need a haircut. If you do, just get some shears out and start snipping away. When we, If we all looked bad enough, <laughs> they might open things up faster. So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.